Welcome back to All This Math. This is Professor Parker, and we're doing some Eureka Math today. This is Eureka Math for the fifth graders from Module 1, and this is Lesson 1, all right? We're using a place value chart, all right, to do some division. All right, I'm going to show you how to use a place value chart to do some division. Now, again, I did a couple other videos on this topic, and I want to re-emphasize, re reinforce or re-emphasize the idea that we're not moving the decimal point. All right. I know traditionally the way I was taught back in the day, the way a lot of y'all watching this, if you're a parent, grandparent, whoever, aunt, uncle, the way y'all were taught back in the day, the way we was taught back in the day is you move the decimal point. If you divide, you move the decimal point to the left. If you multiply, you move the decimal point to the right. The way Eureka would like for children to do this process is to leave a decimal point where it is and instead just move the digits. You get the same result. But and I also think it's cool to an extent because it's a form of code switching. It teaches our children how to code switch in terms of math because it gives them multiple ways to do problems. Sometimes you move the decimal point, sometimes you move the digits in the number, right? The key is to know, you know, to not confuse the rules or not confuse the methods. That's the key, all right? Now, this problem says 421 divided by 100, all right? 421 divided by 100. So the rule is when we divide, the numbers move to the right or the digits within the number slide to the right. Now, the other thing we got to consider is how many spaces to the right? How many spaces to the right? This is the rule for that. Whenever you're doing this method, it's similar to moving the decimal point, right? You look at the number you're multiplying by, and this only works if you're multiplying by 10 or a multiple of 10. 100 is a multiple of 10 because 10 to the second power is 100 or 10 times 10 is 100 right? If you see two zeros, that means you move two spaces. Again, if you see two zeros, you move two spaces. If you saw three zeros, you would move three spaces. If you saw, you know, five zeros, you would move five spaces. All right? So when we're dividing, we're moving the digits to the right, and we're moving this many spaces. All right? That's if we're dealing with a whole number. 100 is a whole number. If it was 100th, it would be a different situation. All right, if we would divide them by 100th, that's a little more complicated. You know, that's the subject of a different video, right? But for now, we're dealing with the whole number 100. We move in two spaces because we got two zeros to the right. But first, let's do this. Let's use this place value chart and write the original number. So the original factor is 421. So each column represents a different place value. This is the decimal point, so that means this is the tenths place, hundredths place, thousandths place, ten thousandths place, all right? Now, what I suggest for you to do is copy this down, right, if you don't already have one written out, and label the place values. Maybe put them down at the bottom, you know, label them if you, have, if you don't have them memorized yet. To the left of the decimal point, you got the ones place, the tens place, the hundredths place, the thousandths place. All right, so this is 420 and 1. Four hundreds, two tens, one one. So the 4 goes in the hundreds place, which is right here. The 2 goes in the tens place, which is right here. The 1 goes in the ones place, which is right here. So we got 421, right? 421. Now, we're dividing, so that means we're sliding to the right. This many spaces, all right? So watch this. This is what Eureka would like to have us do. Use arrows so we can kind of visualize what's happening. But look, but remember, we're moving two spaces. So we're going from this space, one, two. Two spaces over. So we're going down here. See? We skip the one space. We're going two spaces. The same thing with the two. We go one. Well, this isn't really a space. This is just for the decimal point. But we go one, two. So the two's going over here. And then the one is going two spaces. So this space does not count because that's for the decimal point. That's for the decimal point. So we're going one, two, and down there. All right, so look, look where the four goes. Follow the arrow, follow the arrow. The four is gonna go right here, right? Look where the two goes. The two is gonna go right here. Look where the one goes. The one is gonna go right here, all right? Now, put your decimal point in there. And our final answer is four, Point two one. All right. 
Now, this is just like something that you do when you're being introduced to decimals. You're being introduced to dividing by 100, 1,000, 10,000. You're being introduced to multiplying by 100, 1,000, 10,000, 10. This helps you to visualize what's actually happening. Over time, you're not going to need to write this down. You'll start to internalize and understand mentally what's really taking place when you're doing this type of math, right? So you won't need to write this, but this is like, since we're introducing this topic, this is module one, lesson one, right? By the time we get to like lesson two, lesson three and all that, we're not going to be expecting, students aren't expected to write out a place value chart. This is just here as a, as a tool to help you to really be able to visualize what's actually happening when we are doing these types of calculations. You know what I'm saying? All right. So again, place value charts, Eureka math, fifth grade. Don't forget when you divide, the digits move to the right. All right. How many spaces? It depends on how many zeros you got. However many zeros you got, that's how many spaces you move. You slide based on how many zeros you got in the number you're either dividing or multiplying by. If this was a multiplication problem, then the digits will move to the left, all right? If we were multiplying by 100, then the number would become uh, 42,100. 42,100 because we would slide these two numbers. Well, it'd be off the chart, actually. But you would have two zeros here and here, and then you'd have 421. Yeah, 42,100. Basically, just attach two zeros. That's another shortcut that you'll figure out as, as time goes on. But yeah. All right. And oh, shout out to Marion Barry. Marion Barry, rest in peace. A member of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. Also a graduate of Lemoyne Owen College at HBCU in Memphis, Tennessee. Um, a chemistry major. Brother who had a background in chemistry. Did a lot in terms of being a black politician in, the D in D.C. and in the D.C. area. Did a lot for that community. Um, the media definitely has tried to besmirch his image. And, you know, when I was young, I didn't know about all the positive things that the brother did for the black community and for black people. I didn't know. I only knew what I saw on TV. But, um, you know, I was just an a, a ignorant child. You know what I mean? So I kind of bought into that because I didn't understand how media really works. But now I'm, a, I'm an adult. I understand things. And, you know, I want you to understand who Marion Barry was, the complete story, you know, and a lot of his accomplishments and his achievements and his service to the black community. You know what I mean? So, yeah, so definitely do your research on Marion Barry organizations he was a part of, the work he did, his involvement, you know, with um, protecting students at Howard University during the 1989, you know, student um, student protests, you know, and things of that nature. But do your research, though. Definitely do your research um, and find out, you know, the history on those types of things. All right. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.